Hi, it's Deborah from Joy in a Journal. I've got two new journals to show you today, both Italian theme, both we're using papers from Roxy Creations, they're digital kits there, both the same size, which is eight and a half inches by six inches with a two and a three quarter inch spine. So I'll show you them one at a time, they're almost identical. So this is the cover on this one, which reminds me of Tuscany. That's the back. That's the spine. I've put those ridges on there. And then inside, I didn't put a pocket here because I just think the papers are so lovely. That's one of the other papers from the kit. It's a pocket here, all stitched around with um, a tag and the journaling card there it's Tuscany there on some marble paper lots of tea dyed paper as usual two other sheets there with a the little tag on map there of Italy of course with some fabric stitched on a poem here starts off as I lay asleep in Italy Who's that by? Oh, can't find it. Where have you gone? By... What the heck? No, we'll never know, I'm afraid. So there's some ephemera. I think from the Roxy Creations kit, perhaps. So it's the other side of that map and so the little um, card that I've stitched on there. This is from a set of playing cards, vintage playing cards I got from a little shop in Whitby in the UK. I just thought they were so cute, so I've put that one in there. the back of the first signature with a postcard and a tag. Oh, I need to put something through there, some ribbon, a bit of stamping and then some of the leftover journaling paper on the front. This is a map and this is from the Graphics Fairy and I've put another one of those cards, stitched it on there to use as a pocket. I've used quite a bit of a marble paper, all different colours. That's another um, journalist spot there. There's five signatures in this with approximately nine sheets in each so there's a heck of a lot of writing space. Some um, paper there and part of that map with just a stamp there, a bit of collage. It's a library card in this which is just left over from when I cut some of the little tabs out. Just, I actually got this when I was on holiday in Venice. It was part of a calendar or, or a ticket perhaps. A quote there, Venice is like eating an entire box of chocolate liqueurs in one go. It's an envelope made from some Vintage sheet music, you can see the pencil marks on it. And this is from one of the kits by the Paper Cameo. This is one of the tags that comes with the kit, and I've just stitched a little tab on there, covered it with some of the craft paper. Oh, well, this is from an, a holiday as well actually, another ticket and I just popped it inside there, just made the hole, put it behind it, stitched that on and popped that in there, so that's another tuck spot. Some more, oh, I glued it down by mistake, I think I've stitched it, oh there we go, it's another big tab on there. It's a big pocket with a couple of tags in. That's the back of that map from the Graphics Fairy. And the signature there. 
Ross card in and a, one of those four boarding passes and a big stitch pocket from the book there and the floral book and this is from um, a dictionary and I've just outlined the word Italian this has been stitched onto this book from the book of fairies you'll see the other part in a minute a shorter page there this is it beautiful graphics on there some more tea dyeing a bit of collage with some marble paper this gorgeous old bit of lace that I had some ribbon and some sheet music just put one of those paper cameo tags tabs I always get those mixed up fold down a pocket with a postcard on and a little envelope that I made another map here with another tuck spot little photograph it's another quote the name of Italy has magic in its very syllables on some marble paper oops that's another I don't think it likes staying on there to put some different tape on this is from again I don't know if it's from the graphics fairy are from Roxy Creations. I'll find out. So a couple of books. This is another one of those um, paper cameo. Some writing paper. Vintage music paper and I just put a hole punch in there with some whole dream forces on. Some stamping. Well, this was a uh, clover that I picked on a walk and I just put it, there's some vellum there and just put it on that marble paper. Put a tab on there. And one from the kit. And just put one of those cards and some stamping. Another tuck spot there, another book page, some marbled paper, some washi tape in there just to strengthen the spine, that's why I put that in. Some more marble paper. I think that's the secret of life is freedom, is it? My Italian's not that good. I think that's what it says, or something similar. It's from Jane Eyre. I think there was, um, there was one bit about Italy but it can't be in the Jane Eyre book. This is another pocket with the photograph in. It's done some stamping on the back. Again this is using paper from the kit so I just glue it on and I just think it looks nice. That's a bit of interest, as we say in the journaling world. Just fold out there. This is some paper from Paper Cameo. I've just printed on the back of that marbled paper. That was a download, but I think it was actually one that I scanned in from the vintage book. I think. Another one of those tags. This is a tab, and this is a tab. No, that's the wrong way around. Let's throw that away. Another pocket there. Beautiful back page. If you remember, I sold a journal overnight that had this as the front page. This is a bookmark. This is something I printed. Online, I just did a search on Google of um, Italian scroll script, and that came out. And this is a lovely doily, as we call them in the UK. But I 
tea dye and I thought it really pretty and I've never used it so I popped that in there. And that's the back cover, that's the spine. So I'll pop that to one side and look at the other one. So the other one's almost identical inside, it's just really the cover and the front pages are the signatures that are different. So that's the front of that one, that's the spine, that's the back. The header on both of them, I've put this old fabric, tea dyed fabric and then some of the cheesecloth. You've still got all the ends of the stitching coming out. Let's make sure we're in focus, yes. So this is the inside. Again, I, I just didn't want to cover that up. It's too pretty. Pocket. Yeah, the different tag with a tab on. Getting the hang of it now. Same pages. Slightly different map. But still got the stitching on. I quite enjoy doing two at a time. I can only work on books that have the same theme because I can get engrossed in the theme. So doing two side by side obviously took twice as long but I quite enjoyed the process. Love that. Love how that turned out. If only you knew how you achieved these results. Same again. Different postcard but the same different, probably different um, printable there. Beautiful colour. More pockets, more lovely tea dyed crinkly paper. Same quote there. Her pocket with her what did it have? The tag with a tab. Marble paper, this is an third signature, that at the front and that at the back, again with the envelope, another tug spot there, one of clovers and that's the fifth signature and the back is there and then it's just got the same in the back and the bookmark, this pocket I've put the um, gussets, is that what you call them, so you can fit more things in. So there they are, hope you enjoyed that and I'll bring you some more very soon. Thanks a lot for listening, watching, bye now.